money can't buy happiness, but it can make health easier. Healthcare is expensive. Patients that are on a fixed income can be stressed out about money. They also may not be able to buy things like healthy food, medicines, vitamins, cab fare to their doctor's appointments. Without money, patients can become sick more quickly. Patients may also make riskier decisions, like skipping on taking prescription medications in order to save money. As caregivers, we shouldn't be diving too much into the money situation of our patients, but there are things we may notice that could point to a problem. There are observations you can make that could help you detect if there are money issues that can lead to poor health. One, observe patient's spending habits. Does the patient buy healthy food or vitamins? If not, they may not have the money to do so. Does the patient sit in the hot apartment rather than turning on the fan? Does the patient avoid going to the doctor or skip taking their medications? If so, they may not have the money to afford it. Two, observe the patient's attitude about money. Does the patient talk about being worried about bills? If so, they could be worried about their money situation. Does the patient not think about money at all and overspend past their monthly budget? Three, observe the patient's family and friends. Do you suspect the patient's family or friends of financial abuse? Maybe you notice a family member stopping by to take money from the patient's purse or wallet. If so, report it immediately. Does the patient tend to spend too much money on family and friends but not have enough for himself? If you notice or observe something about the patient's money situation that directly affects their health, it is time to report it. For example, a problem that affects physical health. George skips taking his insulin regularly. I know my insulin is important, but it's too expensive. I figure I can skip my daily dose every other day. George is confused and writes checks to pay bills too many times throughout the month. A problem that affects emotional health. You might notice that George is very stressed out about his money and talks about it all the time. You can tell his finances are stressing him out. In conclusion, to notice a money issue. One, observe the patient's spending habits. Two, observe the patient's attitude about money. Three, observe the patient's family and friends. If you notice a patient is struggling with money, don't ignore it. Call your agency or send a message through your agency's app.